Imagine having a constant dragging sensation down there and you feel like something is coming out of your vagina no matter what you do. Now that is what we call as pelvic organ prolapse. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sarishan Patina and today we are going to talk about this particular topic because we want to make sure we educate as many people as possible so women can understand that there are solutions for such feminine problems. So what exactly is pelvic organ prolapse? It happens when the uterus along with the neighboring structures like the bladder and the rectum get drawn down and they come out of the vagina and it's not necessary that all of these three organs have to descend together sometimes only the bladder might come down or sometimes it could be the rectum or sometimes the uterus but most of the time there is some bit of uterus which always drops down now data shows that there are 50 percent of women who have children have some kind of prolapse 50% but only 2% of these people actually seek treatment in the hospitals. So why is it that we are not talking about this? I think the main problem here is that people are not aware that treatment options are available or women have decided they can just live with it. Alright now why does this happen? The uterus has several supports. It has support from the pelvic floor muscles which we call as the levator and eye muscles. It then has the ligamentous supports from the round ligament which is usually an indirect support then you got the McEnroe's ligaments, the uterosacral ligaments and the cardinal ligaments and of course it also has the support from the vagina. So as a woman gets older the muscles of the pelvic floor becomes weak, her ligamentous supports also become a bit loose and we also know that the vagina becomes atrophied. So because of all of these reasons there is a descent of the uterus. And the issue does not stop with older women. We also have a lot of young women who are having these issues because they have had a difficult delivery. If there was a lot of issues during her labor process or if we had to use any instrumentation to take the baby out or if in case she is having less gap between two babies, then chances are that she might have a genital prolapse. Some other women can have genetic issues which might be reasons like Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, Marfan Syndrome or Spina Bifida. And some of the other risk factors include smoking, lifting heavy weights. So now what happens when you feel like something comes out of the vagina? Well, of course, it is not a very good feeling, I'm sure. Plus, on top of that, they also have urinary symptoms or they might have higher frequencies of going to the washroom or sometimes they might also have stress urinary incontinence. They might also have bowel issues. They might have issues while defecating they might have constipation and they might also have sexual related issues where they might have a loss of sensation loss of libido and generally increased pain during intercourse something very peculiar to pelvic organ prolapse is something called as the decupitus ulcer and this is a very difficult situation for the women they might have a lot of discharge and also they might have a lot of discomfort every time they walk Plus some women also have a lot of back pain because the uterus really becomes heavy and pulls them down. Now before I start talking about the treatment options, please understand that not all women require treatment. Our main aim should always be to improve our quality of life. So we start off with the usual lifestyle modifications like uh, exercising, having good food, trying to lose her weight, avoid smoking and things like that. Along with which we also ask her to go ahead and do Kegels exercises which is I think kind of a difficult task to do because we all know that a maximum number of kegels you can do is uh, maybe around 10 or 12 and we have a new lovely device which is going to help the woman perform close to around 20,000 kegels exercises within 20 minutes. My wife made a video on this just a few days back so if you're interested in that do check it out. All the woman has to do is come into the hospital, have a cup of coffee, sit on the chair for 20 minutes and it's like she's doing 20,000 kegels within 20 minutes. Along with which we also ask the woman to undergo vaginal rejuvenation which is another procedure where we are trying to strengthen the vaginal canal by increasing the collagen content and I have made a separate video on vaginal rejuvenation if you are interested in that do click the link that pops out here. Some women might also want to have a pessary placed because she might not want to have any procedure done. So these are other alternatives as well. We have several like the ring pessaries, the Q pessaries and, and many others. It all depends on what is her preference and which one she would like to use. The only thing patients have to know with pessaries is that they require to go and visit the hospital to keep removing the old ones and placing new ones. If she is able to put a pessary herself then in that situation she can come once a year to 
to make sure that the pessary is in place. All right, so now that we have the non-surgical options out of the way, let's talk about what are the surgical options which are available. We have two options depending on what exactly the patient is looking for. If the patient has completed a family life, then the best option for her is to go for a vaginal hysterectomy where we basically remove the organ which is causing the prolapse. However, you do have to inform the patient that yes, there might be a chance that even the vault that is the structure which is still left inside might prolapse as well for which she might have to undergo an additional procedure later. In situations where a woman wants to have another pregnancy, she wants to have another child, we would want to retain the uterus. So using a laparoscopic approach, we do procedures like the pectopexy or the sacrospinous ligament fixation. We use a mesh to hitch the uterus to various bony structures inside the pelvis. If you want me to talk more on these PEXI procedures, do let me know in the comments down below so I can make a separate video on that. Now women who are very old and who cannot undergo any of these procedures, neither can she even think about putting a pessary, there is one last procedure we can try, it's called as the Leafoats procedure where we basically just close the vagina so that there is no organ which can prolapse through it. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you got some good information from this video. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, leave a thumbs up. It's definitely going to help us make better content in the future. And if you are not following me on Instagram, go ahead, do that right now. Okay. And until the next one guys, see you and have a great day. Peace.